is, is to follow the link and join on HAPS, which just links things up a bit better. But what I'm doing today is just another broadcast in my series of things for 30 Days Wild. 30 Days Wild is an initiative run here in the United Kingdom by the Wildlife Trusts, where they encourage people once a day to get out and do what they call random acts of wildness. Do something to engage with the natural world, the world around you. So what I'm doing today is just here in my back garden, running a moth trap. I've been running traps here for many years now. And it's just a way of surveying and seeing what insects, what moths are around in the garden. So I thought I'd show you just quickly what the trap is, how it works, set it up. And yeah, well, that's it. So I'll turn the camera around. Okay, that seems to have now frozen. Don't know if that's frozen for everybody else. There we go, that should be better. So what you can see down here is a moth trap. And I'll just briefly show you what that is and how that works. So you can see that essentially what we've got here is a wooden box. It's got perspex sheets on the top and a big light bulb. And inside, if you take one of the perspex sheets off for a minute, you can see that inside here, we've got a lot of egg boxes. And the basic idea is once I switch this light on, this lights up, it's a nice bright light, produces a reasonable amount of ultraviolet light, which is particularly attractive to moths. The moths are attracted to the light, they fly in, they drop into the box, and because it's got these perspex sheets on the outside, they can't really get back out. So they just settle down, sit on the egg boxes, and then tomorrow morning I can come back and I can see what's there. You can see this trap's rather battered. It's uh, had a few repairs over the years, but none of that really matters. It all still works. The other thing that we do when I'm trapping here is I always make a note of the temperature. So that's showing that it's about 16 degrees. And it'll tell me what the temperature is when I get up in the morning and what the minimum has been overnight. And that's just useful data to have to add to what's going on with the records. So there we go, there we have, we have the moth trap down there. It's obviously powered electronically, it's powered off the mains, and of course the advantage of doing this at home is I've got a mains power supply, so it's dead easy. And all I need to do is come along here and plug this in. It's more difficult to do one-handed than you might think it would be. Wrap it in a plastic bag just in case there's any rain to keep the electronics safe. And then as you can see here, the light has come on the trap. That will gradually get brighter and brighter, start to attract moths in. And then tomorrow morning, I can come on, come out here and see what's been seen. So that'll be round about sunrise, a little bit before 5 a.m. It's not good for the sleeping patterns, this mothing lark. But I'll get up at that time, get up at sunrise, go through here, see what moths we've got. And if there's anything of interest, probably jump back onto HAPS and do another little broadcast just showing some of the things we've caught. So that's basically all I was going to show you today, what the trap is, how we set it up, how it looks in operation. And then I'm going to go around and do the most important bit of moth trapping, which is to pick up my glass of wine. Cheers and have a nice glass of wine for the rest of the evening. So there we go, onto the moth trap, and I will hopefully see some of you tomorrow morning, bright and early here on HAPS, as we go through the trap and find what we've found. 